And one thing I'd like to see happen coming out of the Ministry of Tourism, I'd like to see them put more receptacles on, on the beaches yes, yes. so that persons, when they go uh, there to the different beaches in Antigua and Barbuda mm -hmm. to picnic, that there are garbage bins, you know, there. there so that they can put their garbage in, mm -hmm. no matter how small the trash is. I exactly. think that would really, really help with the littering. And also, not that I'm trying to hit on the, um, the horse odors, because, you know, we use that as a tourist attraction where, you know, you get your sunset ride or, you know, sunrise. But... You know, the horses are walking, you know, you take them for exercise, and then the feces are left back on the beach. I don't know, maybe they can do something to just they take can pick them up. Pick them up right. because, you know, um, around the world, if you're taking your dog walking, you have to, pick you that have to take mm -hmm. up that litter. Yeah. So just do it, you know, and you don't have to be, you know, you're trying, they have, trying to have a fun time with your family and then having to be sitting down and smelling the oh. high scent. Right. So it's not good. And I'm happy that you're doing this, and I hope other businesses will be inspired. Uh, to join or to create their own group mm -hmm. and go out there and clean up the environs. Uh, I mean, we can start, yes. I think, yes. with the, the environment around us. Yes. We can start agree. with the beach closest to us. So if your business is close to Fort James, then you can start cleaning up that area yeah. and that sort of thing. And then we venture out. So I think that there's a lot to learn from your company, Flows. And once again, kudos. It's a good initiative. I hope that other businesses is buy into it and clean up. I know back then they had something adopt a mile where businesses would adopt a, a mile and yeah, clean it up right? and keep it nice and clean. I think that's something we can probably get back into. But you, you're starting something good mm -hmm. and yeah. I hope and it's, it's catching. All, yes, and it's all about national pride, Gosella. I love my country. I know we, we have something to look forward to down the line. Come on, clean it up. Teach the kids from early so that they too will teach their kids and their kids will teach their kids. What is next for you? Um, I know that you have uh, this project with the Environment Awareness Group. What will be next after that? Well, we were recently approached by an organization that's partnering, partnering with the St. John's Hospice. They're having a 12-mile walk. 12 miles? Yes. I cannot even walk one. <laughs> so, and they're having 12. I'm not sure how... How my be able to manage? <laughs> I'm not sure how okay. all other co-workers will be able to manage it because I've, I've already spoken to a few and they're like 12, 12 miles 12 miles <laughs> you know so <laughs> you have to try something to get them to commit and you have to motivate them with yeah. food <laughs> oh <laughs> you know, my we probably can commit to like say probably two, three miles because it's a lot. Yes. Let's, have the, let's have the ambulance set on the probably side. Not, you know, going, I think it's is not nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know, um, but I like think that's I think a good idea, though. If we can't do all 12, mm -hmm. then yeah. let us do three or four miles. Yeah. I mean, to some we yes. in fact, at least we came out and said, hey, we're supporting the St. John's Hospice. As you know, exactly what it is they're offering, you know, they offer the service for persons that are affected by cancer and, you know, other form of detrimental diseases that, you know, some of us really don't want to talk about because of the end result. But it's, a, it's an important organization just out there assisting our parents. And, you know, a lot of persons are not really equipped to um, help. And I guess you can say it's like the last Please? Yes. The last step for They've been person. doing good work, yes. yeah, but they need the help. They, they need the money. Do. Facility needs a little upgrading mm -hmm. and all of that. Uh, they need the help. Like we, we often hear uh, groups giving to different charities. The hospice is re very rarely mm -hmm. one of those charities. So mm -hmm. I'm encouraging persons to make sure that they, they can go and they can do their research mm -hmm. about the hospice. Uh, they need your assistance mm -hmm. as well. So you'll be assisting them with this 12 mile. I <laughs> I want to make sure that you strap <laughs> Kizzy to one of the vehicles. You understand me? Yes, I will. So be right every time, no, no, I mean, I mean, you will be, be the water, the food. Every time the she does this. <laughs> like she wants to give up the vehicle, pulls her yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this. Last <laughs> year, we would have walked from the office on Long Street uh -huh. to Fry's Beach. Beach. We were looking for you, Brazil. Um, Girl. And <laughs> let's just say that Kizzy. <laughs> Kizzy drove. <laughs> she drove. <laughs> yes, I'm a driver. <laughs> 
somebody has to drive. I, I, you know what? And I will be your assistant. Not a problem. I'll be your assistant driver and um, the assistant water distributor. <laughs> distributor. Yes, <laughs> that's fair enough. But you, you all are doing great work, Thank and you. I, I would like to commend you once again uh, for you know the initiative starting your employees a group. What was the name of it? Flow, Flow Community Helpers. Flow Community, Community Helpers, Helpers. Yes. and that is really good. And you'll be helping uh, more. We'll hear more about you, and I'm sure you'll be back. Uh, kudos to you all. I'm, I, I, I need management to make sure that whenever you have your little fun uh, raisers, whatever you raise that they match it oh yes yes most definitely yeah, actually sure. recently um i'm not sure well if you have um cable flow yes i have she used to have you well know you have <laughs> she, <laughs> she well know you know she <laughs> listen to it so right now we have like a little five minutes um video that we did last month um are we gonna show it well we don't have it here oh you don't have it here it to you. okay um, we would have done like the ALS challenge and every employee is now being asked to donate $10 and the company would match it and we will be donating it to the Antigua and Barbuda Disability Association. That is awesome. Yes. That is good. Well, good luck to you all. If there's any way I can help or my colleagues at ABS. Well, you can encourage your co-workers to adopt a beach on Saturday because remember it's 365 beaches. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure to date there's probably what 20 that has been adopted already. Okay. <laughs> so you know what, we, we, guys, we we gonna adopt the beach. Jabberwock. Jabberwock. Why Jabberwock? Let's adopt Jolly Beach. <laughs> Jabberwock Beach. Okay. okay. So you wanna adopt Jabberwock? Okay. So we're gonna discuss it mm -hmm. amongst ourselves, and we'll see, and we will we'll adopt the beach. We promise. We okay. And we'll speak and to Mr. Trevor Parker, our boss, and and we'll get this thing on the road. And yeah, it's a good idea, right, guys? <laughs> These are lazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I see that awake. What is this woman putting us in? <laughs> Uh -huh. But thank you so much you for joining us this welcome. morning. All the best. Thank Flow you. community helpers, helping the community, going out there to make Antigua and Barbuda a better place, one beach at a time. That's right. 365 of them. Yeah, I have a long way to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I'm just telling you, and Kizzy needs to be demoted. Okay? For driving. Demoted from driver to pick up her. Oh, <laughs> All right, this is Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more.